good Wednesday morning, lads. I'm Dee Contreras. And I'm Mr. Hill, and this is your KWHS News. If you still haven't turned in your federal aid cards, what are you waiting for? Cards were due October 13th. Please turn them immediately before you face consequences. Attention juniors and seniors. Some really great colleges are visiting us this month. Northeastern Junior College is here today. Tomorrow, representatives from the UCCS College of Nursing will be here. Next week on Tuesday, November 8th, the University of Denver checks in. And on Wednesday, November 9th, the Savannah College of Art and Design will be with us. Rounding out the week is Lamar Community College on Thursday, November 10th, and CSU Fort Collins wraps up the month with their visit on November 17th. Make your plans early to check in with these college reps by getting a pass from the counseling office. Are you a hairdresser? Mr. Sickmiller and Mr. Cummings are growing out their hair to donate and the time has come to cut it off. The 180 Club will be selling raffle tickets in the quad today until tomorrow at lunch for a chance for two lucky winners to do the cutting. Tickets cost $1. All proceeds go towards the 180 Club's Christmas basket. I think my tummy is grumbling. Time to find out what we're having for lunch. Miss Betsy? Good morning. It's Wednesday already. I hope you all had a great Halloween and didn't candy out too much. <laughs> Okay, so today we're having chicken pot pie, and hope to see you then. Thanks, and have a great day. Bye. Oh, that sounds really good. I'm hungry already. <laughs> Glads, are you ready for an extra hour of sleep? I know I am. Daylight saving times ends this weekend. Set your clocks back one hour on Saturday night or Sunday morning. Seniors, filling out your FAFSA form just got easier. Come to the Senior Parent Financial Aid and FAFSA night on Tuesday night at 6 p.m. on November 15th. It will be here in the library and PPCC is sending us experts to help us navigate the FAFSA process. Bring tax information to maximize this opportunity. If you have any questions, contact Mr. Hall in the Counseling Center at this number or by email. The Gladi Actors presents The Giver, a story about a boy stuck in a strange world where the government controls everything. Shows are scheduled for November 17th to the 19th at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. The cost is $5 for students and $7 for adults. Come see how Jonas finds his path. Now here's the sports team with your sports update. Good morning, Glads. I'm Delaham. And I'm Elijah Clark. And this is your Gladiator Sports Update. If you missed the boys' basketball meeting last week, please see Mr. Munoz for details. Girls' basketball has a camp in Bowers Gym from 5.45 to 7.45 today through Thursday. Glads, if you are planning to play a winter sport, please stop by the main office to get a yellow card or get a physical packet if you haven't filled one out yet. Winter sports practices start on November 11th. Spirit shirts are on sale for $10 if you purchase by Friday. If you wear your shirt on Friday, you'll be entered into a contest for a $30 Bubba's 33 gift card. After Friday, they will be $15. Stop by Miss Ship's room 202 to purchase your shirt. I'm Dylan Ham. And I'm Elijah Clark. Have a great Wednesday. Back to you, DM Marissa. Thank you, gentlemen. Glads, are you in the club? Be sure to make it to your meetings on time today. If you haven't joined yet, here are the clubs who meet today at lunch. Environmental Club in room 204, DECA in Lab 159, and the 180 Club in room 5. Clubs meeting after school include Tabletop After School in Lab 160 and Welding Club in the Metal Shop until 4 p.m. By the way, we have a new club on campus. If you have ever wanted to learn how to sew, you should see Ms. Tuji in Room 163 about joining the sewing club. They just started yesterday and plan to meet every Tuesday from 3 to 4 p.m. Finally, Glads, we have one more new club to tell you about, which also meets on Wednesdays. It's the Magic Club. They'll be meeting in Room 117 at lunch. Here's a little magic for your Wednesday. Many years ago, the ace was the ruler of this deck, and he wanted everyone to be different, right? So, many years pass, and the jack starts to rule the deck, and he wanted everyone to be the same, and so everyone was, except for the ace. He always was himself, and he wanted everyone to be himself. So, years go on, and he overthrows the jack once again, and everyone's back to themselves. That looks like a fun club to join. 
that's all we have for you today. Have a great Wednesday, Glads. I'm Dee Contreras. And I'm Marissa Hill, and this was your KWHS News. Thank you.